In this video, we're going to be talking about how cryptocurrency transactions actually work. We'll touch on the mechanisms and steps taken to see them through. Let's hop right in. Here we go. Fat candle, fat, fat candle. How do transactions happen on the blockchain? But before we understand that, what are we? What is a blockchain? Well, simple as this. How do you normally uh, track when someone buys and sells stuff in a store? You write it down on a ledger, right? Well, basically that ledger is centralized and you yourself can change it at any time uh, or cook the books, right? Well, with blockchain, you can't because it's a distributed ledger, which means that ledger is on many different computers, okay? So what that means is it has to validate on many different computers to say that actually happened. And if you try to say later that no, that didn't happen, all those other computers will say, no, 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 that's wrong. Um, and so basically you cannot cook the books or cheat the system later. You can't go in and change it after. So how does a blockchain transaction actually work? So look at this. Um, when we start, someone requests a transaction. So I want to buy a chocolate bar from you as an example. Chocolate bar can be a cryptocurrency. So we do the exchange, right? Now when we do that exchange, it has to go and be validated by nodes or computers. So those computers then say that yes, that transaction happened. We call them confirmations. So all these confirmations start to happen that make sure that yes, that is a real transaction and all of them have to say yes, it's good. When that happens, using the algorithms that they use, they will validate the transaction. So once a verified transaction happens, it gets added to a block. So in Bitcoin, every 10 minutes, there's a new block created. So over that time, it adds to the block and other cryptos have different times for each block. But the point is it all this information goes into that block in that certain amount of time. So it could be crypto, it could be a smart contract, it could be records, it could be other information. So it all goes in there. After that time is up, um, then all those verified transactions are completed. Um, it creates a new block to be added to the blockchain, which you can see beside me, right? So that block, once that validation and all those things have been verified, goes in, it can never be changed. You can never go in and say, actually, the dollar chocolate bar was 75 cents. I'm going to keep 75 cents for myself. No, 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 you cannot because it's a distributed ledger, meaning other people, also decentralized, meaning other people, no one actually um, knows who or whatever is controlling Bitcoin. We don't know who Satoshi is, for example. So it's distributed and it's decentralized. So it's getting validated by different people. We don't even know who they are. So if we try to change it, those same people are gonna go, no, 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 that, that's not right. And the computers are gonna be even more accurate than people. So that's why blockchain is amazing. So now that you can't change that transaction, it's complete. And then we move on to the next block and so on and so forth. So that's how transactions occur on a blockchain. I'll see you guys all next time. Fat candle, fat, fat candle, fat candle, you